Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Lewis. For people that don't know me, I am a mindset coach, an entrepreneur, and I love learning and I love teaching. So hence, uh, hence why I'm here. And I'm going to hopefully share a bit of knowledge with you guys. That's really, really helped me in my personal life, my professional life. And it's, uh, it's added a lot of value to my life and, and to a lot of clients that I've, I've taught this to. So I would love to throw it over to you guys and see if you get some value from it. So we're going to be going through how to remove judgment from your life. Um, and there's different versions of, uh, I guess, judgment depending on the context of it. I'm referring to judgment when you judge someone else. So say you see someone who's been impatient and you judge them, you get angry, frustration, uh, any emotion outside of love, gratitude, and uh, acceptance that there's some form of judgment there. It doesn't have to be because judgment's a spectrum. You could have judgment of you absolutely hate someone, you want to kill them uh, versus uh, they just maybe annoyed you just the slightest bit. So judgment for me when I work with clients and I explain it is that th there's something that's stopping you for being grateful for this person or for this event or for this thing that you've been through. So when you're judging others, it's the, it comes back to a universal law called uh, the one and the many. And uh, I haven't done a over the top amount of research into universal laws, but from what I understand of it and how I've been able to use it in my life is there's, the, there's people that say there's heaps of universal laws out there, but especially learning this from, from some of my mentors, there's only one that is consistent across the board when it comes to like chemistry, biology, physics, uh, human nature, there's, there's across all the modalities and all the other themes of the world, there's only one that's actually consistent and it's called the one to the many and the many to the one. So when it comes to using this universal law in relation to people and judgment, this is the way that you can implement it into your life. So whenever you judge someone, you are seeing a part of yourself that you haven't learned to love and accept because every single personality trait, every single characteristic, every single uh, expression, emotion that any human being demonstrates, you demonstrate as well. I believe the number is 4,200 and something uh, different personality traits, traits, characteristics, emotion, action, in inactions. There's over 4,000 human traits and characteristics and emotions that we express and we express every single one of them. And again, when you're, going, when you're judging someone, you're seeing a part of you in them that you haven't learned to come to terms with, you haven't learned to love or that you're shutting out. Let's use an example. This is the most common one that makes sense to people. Most people uh, would say they're quite honest people. You'd say, if you're listening to this, ask yourself, do you see yourself as an honest person? person and then I want and assuming you say yes and then I also want to ask you the question do you lie and most people or every person if they're honest enough will say yes because yes I like for me I'm a very honest loyal genuine person but I'm also a liar I also am deceitful I'm also mean I'm also an asshole as well so we have every single trait in us and we express it somewhere. But when you're judging someone else for doing something, it's because you haven't learned to accept that you do the same thing in another area, in another form in your life. Uh, as an example, so say you you see someone and they're being really uh, mean, for example, they're being, I don't know, uh, I don't know abusive, mean, somewhere, some way, shape, form. Then ask yourself, where in my life do I exhibit or express the same trait or action or inaction and it might not be in the same form because you for example uh I, I see a lot of people do this with conflict a lot of people don't like conflict they don't like arguments they don't like uh, uh creating that tension with people and they avoid arguments and they're actually avoiding growth which is a different topic in itself but you might judge someone for who's always uh, in conflict and you don't, they're, they're always looking for say, they always have an argument or they're looking for arguments, they're always in arguments and you might judge them for being an asshole, being mean or whatever, whatever. So ask yourself, where do you have arguments? It might not be in the same form. You might not argue with your mum the way this person is doing it. Maybe you argue with yourself because people that don't have conflict with people, they have conflict with themselves. They have the same argument in their own head. It's like lying as well. Some people genuinely do not lie to other people, but they lie to themselves. They tell themselves that they can't do something, that they're a loser, that they're not good enough. Those are lies. So in context for this, and the point that I'm getting to for this video today is 
When you are judging someone, you're seeing a piece of yourself in them. There, you're projecting that, and life is a mirror, and you're going to be seeing that part of yourself, and that judgment or that trigger or whatever the emotion is that you're experiencing is feedback for you to learn to love it. So the person, I say this in other videos, whatever triggers you the most is going to heal you the most because you're, they're going to project and they're going to uh, bring up things that you haven't worked on. They're going to bring up things that you haven't learned to love about yourself. So when you catch yourself, so the exercise that I want you to do uh, from moving on, moving forward is when you catch yourself judging. And again, it could be uh, something as simple as, uh, I don't know, say someone uh, cuts in front of you in traffic, someone cuts you off, someone's been impatient and you get road rage, which is quite a common thing. It's ask yourself, where do I do the same thing? Where do I express the same thing? Another question to ask, where or who in my life perceives me the same way I'm perceiving this person. Because again, you might hate this person or see them as an asshole or, or a bitch. I'm obviously using some some different language right now. But you might perceive this person as being not a nice person. Then ask yourself, who in your life would perceive you to be the same way? Because the world is just uh, perceptions, right? Like you've got your perception of the world, your experience of the world and someone else has the same thing. Like I guess, obviously, genu generally speaking, with all your interactions, you're going to have like kind of your personality and how people kind of see and view you as a whole. But there will be people that don't like you just for being you. There's people that fucking hate me, that don't like who I am, who my content triggers them or I've had an experience with them in the past through business or through life and they just don't, they don't like, they don't like who I am, which is totally fine. There's nothing, there's no right or wrong in that and there's benefits to them not, not liking me for their life and for my life. But when, just another question to ask for you to start to find where you see this or where you experience this or where you express this is who perceives you the way you're perceiving this person. If you're perceiving this person as being uh, dishonest, if you're perceiving this person as being impatient or angry or aggressive or frustrated, who perceives you to do the same thing? And when you can do this, guys, and the, the, the part that I, I would love for you to get out of this podcast and out of this video today is whenever you're judging something, it's feedback for you to be more authentic. It's feedback for you to heal and it's feedback for you to learn and grow. So whenever you're perceiving someone or judging someone, if you can just become conscious and start to love and accept that part about yourself, you're going to be less triggered. You're going to be less volatile emotionally speaking. You're going to be more present and you're going to have less conflict in your life. And yes, everyone will have conflict in some way, shape or form because we express all traits, of course. But it's like people that just go through and they're so angry and they're so reactive and they're so judgmental to so many other people, so many other things, obviously themselves. And it's because they're not learning to own the traits because the universal law, which I was mentioning at the start, is it's one to the many, many to the one. It's when every trait you, or the many traits out there are in the one and the one traits are in the many. Uh, uh, a mentor of mine, Dr. John D. Martini, he uses this uh, in, in grieving when <clears throat> how to grieve and how to, uh, I guess, move past people passing on or pa uh, uh, passing away. Uh, and he gets, he get, it's the same thing. So you've got the many traits in one and then it becomes the one trait in many. So say someone's uh, grieving and they're upset and they're, they're, they're mourning for someone that they're, they're missing. He does, the, he does the activity where you get very, very clear what specifically do you miss about this person or that you perceive is missing about this person that that was in your life because you don't miss everything about someone because you miss the parts that you that you liked but you don't miss the parts that you didn't like about them so what are the parts specifically that you miss about that person it might be something like love they had unconditional love there might be laughter or funny or humor etc cetera, etc cetera. and you list them out and you say great since that person has passed where have you had an experience and perceived these specific traits because energy from a physics and a science standpoint 
energy is never destroyed it's always transformed so it's always there it just might be in a different form because all the traits are there in your life and you experience all those traits so a bit of a side tangent this video is not about grieving and moving on i'll probably do a video of that in the future but the one, many to, the one to many many to one it's a very it's the only one that shows up again consistently across all modalities and all uh I guess, categories and, and teachings in the world. Uh, and in this specific, I guess, tool that I want you to learn and I'd love you to take on board is starting to find those exact traits in yourself. So, think about it. Let's do an exercise right now. Think about right now, who are you judging? Who do you judge really a lot? Might be your dad, might be a friend, might be a boss, might be a partner. Uh, you'll do you. You will experience this a lot with your partner, by the way. Uh, in intimate relationship, I, I've, I've made many videos on this. Is your 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 intimate relationship will gr- help you grow the most because they're going to mirror and project and bring up all the stuff you haven't worked on. So, uh, anyway, so where in your life or who in your life are you judging? Who is it? Mum, dad, brother, sister, co-worker, ex-partner, whatever it is. And be specific because people, when you when you generalize it, you miss the lessons because in my the world I live in anyway, there's no such thing as absolute evil. There's no <clears throat> such thing as someone who's just all evil 100%. There's goods and there's bads to, to someone. So don't just say, oh, I hate this person because of who they are. That's not true. There's You don't hate them because of the color of their hair or the, the size of their feet or the clothes that they wear or whatever. They would have done something. They would have said something. They would have been a certain way and you'd judge them for that. So be specific and find that person and then be specific. Again, what about that person, action, inaction, personality trait, emotion, whatever it is that you're judging them for? that you're angry, frustrated, pissed off, annoyed, what is it? And find in your life, where do you do the same thing? Or who perceives you the same way that that person is, uh, that you're perceiving that person? And to go even further, I rarely do videos without mentioning values. Your values, everyone's got their own intrinsic parts of their life that are most meaningful to them. It might be your family, it might be your health, it might be your career, it might be finances, it might be learning, it might be experiences. You want to see, okay, what, where in my life do I ex- express the same trait? Who in the world perceives me the same way that I'm perceiving this person? And then what are the benefits of that trait in this person in relation to my highest values? Let's use an example. I'll use Uh, health and I'll use family because they're pretty common ones for a lot of people. So say health, for example. Say someone is really, makes you really stressed or they, I don't know, let's use, uh, I don't know, say someone's really impatient. So say someone's, uh, I'll use another one actually. Say someone's really mean to you. Say someone's been really, really mean. They're bullying you, for example. So say they're bullying you for being uh, overweight. They're commenting on your weight. They're making comments about your weight, your image, and how you look, and all that stuff. So, what are the benefits of that uh, of being mean or being bullied, and how does that benefit your health? Does it create motivation? And I don't like using the word motivation too much, but does that create inspiration and drive for you to go work on your health? Is it developing tough skin for you? Is it giving you the opportunity to regulate your emotions so you can learn to control your heart rate better, which is going to improve your ability to train? Is it going to uh, give you... Uh, I'm just trying to think on the top of my head right now. What does? What are the benefits for that trait in that person in relation to your life and specifically the most intrinsically meaningful parts of your life, which is your values? So... Let's use family It was the second one. How is this making you a better person? How, I'll use the same, say someone's bullying you, being mean to you. How is this making you a better family or improving your family or making you a better parent, etc.? Et is it teaching you, like I said, how to regulate your emotions, how to communicate better, how to have tough skin, how to be persistent, how to uh, be the bigger man or the bigger woman and how is that making you a better parent? And if you can learn to find the blessings and the and the lessons and the benefits in anything and everything, that's when you, again, from the start of this video, you can go and say, I'm grateful for this. Because until you can say that, that you're grateful for the person, the event, whatever you're putting judgment upon, it will continue to affect you and it'll continue to hold you back. So you need to ask those questions. If you want to move on, you don't need to do this. But if you want to remove judgment, you 
want to, would want to ask those questions. How is this serving me? How is this, where do I do the same thing? And what are the benefits of this? How is this improving my highest values? How is this moving me towards my life's purpose, mission, and vision? How is this making me stronger? What skills am I learning? What experience am I gaining? And by asking those questions, you might actually find out that the person that triggers you the most or that you judge the most is actually done the most for you. And when you can get to that and you find those blessings and you learn to be grateful for it, then you stop judging, you stop investing your, your energy into external forces and you get to live presently and you let, get to live a life where there's just less judgment. And that for me is a better quality of life. I hope that made sense. I hope you guys got some value from this. Go apply it to your life. So the next time and every time you t- catch yourself judging someone for something, ask yourself, breathe, regulate. <sighs> okay. Where do I do the same thing? It might be in a different form. Remember that. It might be in a different form. Who perceives me the same way I'm perceiving this person? And what are the benefits to me because of this trait or this whatever they're doing? What's the benefit towards me and my highest values? You'll remove judgment. Your life will be able to move on. Hope that made sense, guys. If you got value, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'd love for you to hit the like button. It's great for the algorithm. Send this to, it shares out to more people. Uh, Thank you for watching my stuff. And uh, I love you all. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.